everybody, welcome back to the Driveway Engineer. I'm JR. Um, today, I'm going to show you guys the power of a group. Um, this is my 79C10. I swapped a 91K5 dash into it. Um, I was having some problems with my fuel gauge, and through the help of the Facebook group, because like I always tell you guys, I don't know everything, I was able to diagnose this and uh, get it sorted out. So. It turns out I have a bad gauge, and what I found out was if you hook a multimeter to both leads, the ground and the uh, power feed on the on the sender, and you flip it over to this omega symbol, and I use 20k to measure the resistance, or maybe I use 200. Um, when I touched the two of them together, I was able to get a reading that was like, uh, we we'll use this battery. Apparently this battery has no resistance. There we go. I was able to get a reading that was, uh, between zero and 90 ohms, which, uh, GM sending units like 91 ohms max zero. So zero is empty. 91 is full and I was able to get a reading of like 75. I knew it was about three quarters full. Um, and then I hooked it up to my old gauge and it just stayed pegged. That was the problem. The gauge was staying pegged all the time, no matter what. And I didn't know if my new, it's a new sending unit, but they can be bad out of the box. I didn't know if that was bad or if my gauge was bad or it's a new wiring harness, so there shouldn't be any breaks in the wire in between, but maybe there are. Hard to say. Um, so with the help of the group and some smart wiring guys on there, I was able to climb underneath here and figure this out. Uh, what I found was that my gauge didn't change no matter what. Bear with me here. Uh, no matter what I did, the reading on my gauge never changed. Whether I shorted it to ground, whether I hooked it up correctly, um, which led me to believe one of two things. That is now hooked up correctly. I know you can't see it, but I'm using a Speedway harness, so that tan wire is my gauge feed to the actual dash and runs directly to it. The black wire is uh, the ground. So knowing that my gauge never changed and that my sending unit was good because I put the multimeter on it on ohms, it really only left the gauge itself, which you can see now. It's reading full. It was just reading empty. My key is on. My problem is solved. So uh, I still have to figure out the oil pressure gauge. It's probably the same thing, frankly, but I'm not too worried about oil pressure at the moment. Disregard all this mess is for another project. Um, yeah, that's how you can test your any GM gauge, really. And it have to be a C10. They all use the same voltage. So to run back through it, if it's not moving, it's past full. It doesn't move at all. You check it at the center with an ohm meter, put it on that omega symbol, and see if it gives you some kind of value between 0 and 90. And if it does, then your center is good and your gauge is bad or your wiring is bad in between. So, hope that helps. This is a real short video. I rambled a little bit. I hope it's coherent. Um, I've had a few too many of those, but whatever. It's a happy Sunday. So, we'll see you next time on the Driveway Engineer. Thanks for watching, guys.